Thank you for joining me on this video for a discussion of use of personal protective equipment, also known as PPE, for people who are not healthcare workers. With the current coronavirus crisis, as you may be faced with wearing gloves and masks in a situation that it is an ordinary situation such as going to the grocery store or going to the hardware store, and you may never have used gloves or masks properly before. So I'm gonna talk about this as so that you understand the proper use of personal protective equipment. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the use of a mask. Now there's many different styles of masks that are out there. Uh, a cone style mask is kind of a concave type mask and you can tell which side goes out. But if you have the flat side mask, sometimes it's harder to determine which side is the outside and which side's the inside and which side is up. If you look carefully on these masks, there's a little metal piece and the metal piece is designed to go around your nose. So that's the part that needs to go up. When you look at the mask, sometimes they're colored. If they're colored, the brighter color is the, usually the outside versus the inside. Sometimes the masks are, are kind of white. And when you look at it at, and compare the two sides, I don't think you can see it on the computer, but the side that goes out is a little shinier than the side that goes towards your face. Now you wanna put your face mask on first before you put your gloves on. If you wear glasses like I do, you wanna take your glasses off first and you make sure you have the mask oriented the correct direction and you fold the piece around your nose and this one has loops that go over your ears, but if they tie, they can tie behind your face. And you pull it down and tuck it in so it fits nicely underneath your chin. And then you wanna put your glasses on over top so that your glasses are actually over top the mask. If you do it the other way around, um, it tends to fog your glasses and you can't see what you're doing. So you wanna put your uh, mask on first. When you have gloves, gloves come in sizes. Um, these are examination gloves, and they tend to come in small, medium, and large. You want to pick a size that's fairly close to what your hands are. If it's way too big, then they're not very effective. When you get a box of gloves like this, what you got to remember is these are not sterile. They're clean, but they're not sterile. When you remove them from the box, they may be fairly a unwrinkled, or they may be Pretty wrinkled. You want to shake them out so you clearly see that they're not very wrinkled. You want to start with dry hands. If your hands are sweaty or slightly wet because you've washed them, you can't get the gloves on properly. So your hands must be completely dry. So you start with one hand and you make sure you have the thumb oriented the correct direction and you slide it on just like that. These gloves are meant for both hands, so there's no left or right size because they are not sterile surgical gloves. Sterile surgical gloves tend to have a right hand and a left hand, but exam gloves, the left hand is the same as the right hand. So you get the other one, you orient the thumb in the correct direction, and then you slide them on just like that. You wanna make sure that you get it all the way up so that you don't have pieces like this hanging like that because then it won't function very well when you're trying to do things with your gloves on. So once you get them on, what you wanna remember is you don't wanna to touch your face, you don't wanna adjust your eye glasses, it's because the idea is to keep the coronavirus away from your eyes, your face, your nose, and your mouth. The key thing is when you take it off, what you wanna make sure is you don't contaminate yourself when you take your gloves off. After you've been out touching the grocery cart or touching the checkout uh, register or the credit card machine or the gas pump, 
you can assume that there's stuff on your hands. Now, it may not be coronavirus, but it may be other things, but it could potentially be coronavirus. So what you want to decide, keep in mind is, whenever you have your gloves on, you want to just automatically assume that they're contaminated with something that you don't want on the rest of you. So when you go to take off your gloves, as the first thing you want to do is, on one glove, you want to pinch the outside and you pull it off inside out and then dispose of the glove. On the second hand, what you want to do is reach inside the glove and pull the glove inside out and dispose of it. And now here's a good example of what not to do. You've been out to the grocery store or to the gas pump or wherever. And then you come home and you take off your glasses and you take off the mask and you pull this off here just like this. What you've done in this example is you've taken your contaminated gloves, you've contaminated your mask. And so every time you put your mask back on, you're putting on a contaminated mask. You've contaminated your glasses, so you need to wash them. And you've also contaminated your hands because you touched the outside of the gloves getting them off. After you remove your personal protective equipment, it's a good idea to wash your hands. A couple things you need to remember when using personal protective equipment. Masks like this can be reused unless they become wet and then they fail to become a barrier. Disposable gloves like this are single use items. And what that means is you cannot reuse gloves under any circumstances. You cannot wash gloves with soap and water because as that tends to degrade the material over time and it will fail to be a barrier. I hope you found this video here helpful. In order to control the spread of coronavirus, all of us need to be conscious about what we touch, washing our hands, and staying home.